Greetings and Happy New Year 2022. In case we didn't get to wish you yesterday. And uh, thank you for joining us this first week of a brand new year. And uh, what we want to do is just break down the word of the Lord that we uh, released for us yesterday. I'll just repeat it and then we will get into the details of what uh, we believe God wants us to do and how to go about doing it uh, in this year. So stay tuned every day of this week. Make sure you understand the word of the Lord and begin to pre prepare yourself to act on it. So we said the word that God has sp spoken to us uh, is to go take your mountain, conquer your giants and occupy your inheritance. And we're taking this out of Joshua chapter 14, verses 6 through 15. And we're not going to take time to read that entire passage. I would encourage you to do that. Uh, just turn your Bibles and take some time to read that passage. But we're going to break it down over each day of this week and look at certain aspects. The point that we, that, that, that we feel God is putting before us is this, that things that He has spoken into our lives, the things that He's put in our hearts to go and uh, take possession of as our inheritance, saying, look, that's what I was signed for your life. That's what I want you to go and take for your life. For whatever reason, things may have been delayed, they may have, they may have been detours, or they, uh, they may have been, uh, you know, uh, uh, opposition to it. But this year, you're going to go and take your mountain. You're going to conquer those giants. You're going to occupy your inheritance and take what God has been putting in your heart, saying, this is what I have for your life. The first step, we want to break this down. The first step of how Caleb went about doing this. First of all, we see from Joshua, the 14th chapter in verse 6 and also in verse 12, it's repeated in both those verses, where Joshua says, you know the word which God spoke to me through Moses. So that's the first thing, which is know the word. Know the word. Why did Caleb get ready? Or why was Caleb going to go in and take that mountain? Because God had spoken. He reminded Joshua. He said, you know the word which God spoke. There are things that God has spoken into your life. It may have been things highlighted to you from the scriptures as you've been reading the Bible. Things that God has spoken to you through, you know, the people who've been ministering God's word to you. Things that God may have spoken into your spirit by His Holy Spirit saying, this is what I want you to go and take in life. You must know the word. Know what God has spoken. And because of that, in alignment to that word, you're going to go and take your mountain. Know the word. Believe that when God has spoken it to you, He has meant, you, meant for you to have it. That's why He said, that's for you. Know what God's spoken. It's meant for you. Go take it. Let's pray. Father, I ask that you will stir up things in our hearts, our minds, our lives. Things that you said is for us. That you want us to go take. You want us to have as part of our life's journey. Life's calling, life's assignment, God. Remind us of it. Stir us up. Remind us of what you've spoken. So that we know the word. And know that you meant it for us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.